Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys girls doing? Hope you're doing great. Today we're going to keep working on our uh, state RPG. But before we get started, as usual, I just want to ask you to go down to the description box and check out the useful links down there. Uh, you can subscribe, you can drop a like. Uh, that will help me out a lot if you want to. You can do that. Um, I have a support page, you can go follow me on that if you can. And also follow me on Twitter if you want to. Uh, otherwise just keep watching and let's just get started so what I want to do today is I just want to make sure to create this mini map that we we're talking about because it's kind of cool and I want to be able to see stuff around the player but to get started to do that I'm gonna have to do create a few functions in character.h and I'm gonna call them inline const unsigned get get x all right easy as that and I'm just gonna return um, return this x boom and I'm just gonna make one more function just like this for y so get y there we go uh, now once we have that let's open travel menu state.h and I'm gonna create a std string minimap here minimap string Ring. I'm just gonna call it that and then we're gonna have another function here called void update minimap just like that and then control period enter create the definition for it and there we go so now we have a little minimap I'm also gonna go into print menu and right up here where I have location I'm just gonna copy paste that and I'm gonna say minimap this mini map so mini map string so uh, I don't really have anything in it yet but I do have uh, let's see I do have string stream and everything so we should be able to just string stream something together if I open this uh, let's see string stream SS I'm just gonna create one of those and we're gonna need a few variables so I just want to see I'm gonna need this as well I'm just gonna copy I'm actually gonna copy the whole switch case because we're gonna need that so I'm just gonna paste it here don't freak out just we'll just leave it there but I'll create a string stream and then I'll create a few integer variables so int start X equals this character get get X plus or minus two okay so we're gonna start off at the position characters position to the left two steps to the left of that position okay so imagine a five by five grid that's gonna be our minimap and the player is always gonna be at the center so we're gonna take all the values two steps to the right two steps to the left and then all the values two steps to the right as well as top and bottom two steps top two steps bottom so it's gonna be um, a bunch of boxes around the player that we're going to be printing out and the way you do that is using these variables so start y equals this character um, character get y and I just have to check that I fix that in character.h and I'm actually returning y and x that's proper yep that's fine okay so let's just get started now once we have those we need uh, we need to make a little error check because since we have unsigns we don't want to make we don't want them to go below zero right you can't go into the negative so if start x equals uh, or less than zero this start not this uh, start x equals zero and I'm gonna do the same thing for y whoops uh, no, what am I doing? Okay, control C. Same thing for Y. If this start Y is less than zero, start Y is zero. Okay. Uh, int end X equals um, this character get X plus two. So we got, we're going into the plus now. Two steps to the right. Same thing with Y, two steps down. <clears throat> This might seem confusing right now, but once you do it, you'll see that it's not all that confusing. Now we're going to make a little for loop. And we'll just call these x. And they're going to go to end x. 
less or equal to end x. And they're going to start at start x. Okay, so they're, <coughs> excuse me, so they're going to go from the start x position, two steps to the left, to end that two steps to the right. Okay, and we're going to add to our string stream um, this position. But what we're going to do is we're going to copy in this whole switch case into this for loop. So there we go. And this is going to be, this is going to say x. All right. And once we're in empty, actually, it's not going to say x. It's going to say, uh, where did we put that? Here, this whole random seed thing. And we're going to set the seed to, uh, let's see. X, so we're going to set the seed to X plus Y. We don't have the Y yet, but don't freak out. Uh, this location is going to run to 3, and we're going to switch to location. And if we're empty, instead of printing out, we're going to add a character to our string stream. So I'm going to say empty is an E, like that. And where's our string stream? It's right here. I'm going to put it right at the top like that and at the very end once the function ends I'm gonna say this minimap string equals ss dot string so don't forget this this actually sets the string to whatever we create in the string stream I know this is a little confusing but just follow all the steps and you should be fine just make sure everything here is identical create the string stream and then s run x plus y we'll random we'll get the location so we'll add an e for empty We'll add a F for farm and a C for city. Okay. Easy as that. And then we need another for loop on top of this. Because remember, it's a two-dimensional grid kind of. So that's why we need that. Uh, let's see where this goes. Should be right in there. And this is going to be Y. So end Y. Make sure you change all of this to Y. And all of this to x. So once uh, that for loop in between, we're just going to add a new line. So ss new line. Again, I'm really sorry about this being confusing. I'm not. I'm not trying to make it confusing. I'm just. Just make sure you follow all these steps, and you should be fine. Again. So our first step is to get all these variables around the player, and then we're going to for loop, and we're going to add a bunch of characters to those. Uh, depending on the seed, right? So at the player position, we want a P. We're going to add that as well. But for now, we won't be able to see that. And then we'll new line. So it's going to write one line, whole line, and then new line, whole line, new line, whole line. So it's going to look like kind of a 2D grid of, of characters. And once we have that, uh, let's just see. So it's going through X plus Y, random, get all the locations minimap string. So if I run this, it shouldn't really work right now. I don't think it should work. I'm not 100% sure. I just thought about this in my head. So I'm not completely sure if this is going to work. But that's a part of our tutorial that we bug fix and everything. So I'm just going to create a new character and go back and start the game travel menu. And uh, yeah, we can't really see anything yet. Um, because we aren't calling the function. So Obviously, we're not going to see anything. The update menu, print menu, we're in update. Let's see. So we're going to print the menu. Um, let's see. This update minimap. Why do we have everything else like that? That should work, shouldn't it? That should probably work. Uh, create a character minus one start the game travel oh so we got some some characters going here you're in a city and see so I'm guessing the player is in the top left right now uh, that actually wasn't the best let me see that wasn't the best order so probably I want to update the menu um, print menu 
okay so I'm gonna print the menu last update and counter menu print menu update menu let's see uh, uh, uh. so we get the choice and update menu so I probably want to have that after print menu like this and and yeah let's just try to move the character let's see if the characters move if they do we're pretty much good um, sorry I have to create these characters every time uh, start the game travel okay so now that worked so we're, we're in the city probably at this C right here if I move to the left uh, I'm in an empty plane I'm probably here right now and if I move down I'm gonna down to this E so we should go down to the empty plane yep and then we want to move down to the empty plane if I move down one more time I'll probably be at the farm so I'm at the farm right now no I'm at this empty plane okay if I move to the right I should be on a farm okay cool so that that looks that looks kind of cool uh, one thing I did wrong here was in the travel menu update minimap you want to have Y Mm, 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 mm. Let's see. Get Y minus 2. Just like that. And pretty much. Wait, did I? Oh, it should be less than equal to. So that, that seems to be fine. This is, doesn't seem to be any problems here. Which is kind of weird. We should have 5. Let me Let me try something. Well, before we try again, sorry. Let's just fix that with the P. So I wanna, I wanna make sure the player's position is uh, is accounted for. So if x equals this character, get x. So if the x is equal to the player's position and y is equal to this character dot get y then we're obviously at the same spot so the, this character isn't gonna be an E or a C or something then it's just gonna be SS uh, P okay otherwise if we're not printing the players position then we're gonna have all this other stuff and I'm actually gonna remove this default case just for now uh, and then we do SS new line right there and then minimap string good so minus two plus two plus two um, okay now let's try running this create another character minus one start the game travel some okay so that isn't oh wait here we go here's a line oh shit oh shit okay sorry I have to close that down uh, if we go to trail menu print menu we'll see the issue and that is that we're not actually new lining the minimap string so we want to actually have a new line right there as well and then the minimap string so it doesn't come directly after this minimap sorry about that let's do another character boom let's make it quick start game travel menu boom okay so the player is right there at the P and you're in a city right now it doesn't say C there it says P instead but using this location you can actually see where you are but if I move to the right if I move one step to the right I should be in a city again if I move one step to the right I should be in the empty plane uh, if I move down which is 2 I'll be in an empty plane down empty plane down empty plane and if I move down once more you see the P's right here at the F I'll be in a farm you are on a farm see so that works if I want to get to the city obviously I have to move two steps to the right and one down so two steps to the right and one down you're in a city boom easy peasy we have a little mini map we know where we are we know what the hell's going on so uh, yeah yeah there you go that's a great way to see what the hell's going on okay and it's kind of fun thing now we can see the seed how it's working obviously uh, this X plus this Y is here and this is the same thing it kind of goes diagonally so we need to make a better seed so it doesn't go diagonally like this alright so we're gonna do that and it's gonna work <laughs> but for now this this uh, should suffice so yeah 
for now this is good let's just quit this game uh, minus one minus one all right so I hope you follow through on that just make sure you print your minimap right here and that you um, update it in update minimap and you just copy paste this code basically try to understand this code what the hell's going on and why I'm starting and why I'm um, ending at a certain spot so that's how we get that little grid around the player and how this for loop works as well um, just try to look through this try to understand it isn't that complicated it might look really hard in the beginning but if you just look at it more carefully and try to draw it yourself on a paper or something like that just see how it works you'll have a lot of use for this because you might use this in a game you're creating to kind of just go through the blocks or something that the player around the player and stuff like that and it's a really good algorithm to know basically so just try to work with this but again thank you for sticking with me if you have stuck with me this long I hope you learned something that's kind of cool feature we added to the game um, thanks for watching thanks so much for supporting please go check out the description box for all the links and stuff follow me on Twitter like or subscribe if you want to and yeah take care best of luck I'll see you guys and girls in the next video all right bye bye